Hello, and welcome to episode 1 of Vengeance of the Pensy. Today, we will be talking about the K-4 class of engines. The K-4 is an icon of the Pennsylvania Railroad and the state of Pennsylvania. All 425 engines were used across the PRR system all the way until the end of steam in the 60s. Enjoy this video and let's get started. The early 1900s were a competitive time for railroads, and the race was on to provide the fastest, most reliable, and efficient locomotive for passenger service. In 1911, the PRR decided it was time for a new locomotive to replace the aging E6 class of 442 Atlantics. The engineers designed and tested a larger class of locomotives known as the K-29 Pacifics to find the next mainline engine for passenger service. The K-29 proved to be a good basis for a new mainline passenger locomotive. PRR engineers tweaked the design so it would perform better on the rugged territory that the PRR covered. They settled on a design known as the K-4 Pacific. One pre-production K-4 was built in 1914 at the Altoona shops to test the improved design. The engine exceeded the expectations of the PRR. Production started in 1917 with 41 K-4s being built in the PRR's Juniata shops. Altoona's Ju Juniata shops began making the first batch of K-4s in 1917. The first 168 locomotives were scattered all over the system doing all sorts of work mainly on passenger trains, but also freight duties on the system. The K-4s were a prime test bed for all new features waiting to be put on new newer steam locomotives with a lot of ideas that were popular in the 20s. Streamlining, poppet valves, driving wheel and smoke deflectors, 5 K-4s were decked in streamlined shrouding, forward semi-streamlining. Roller bearings were also implemented, three K and three K-4s were rebuilt with poppet valves. Early service. The K-4s first entered into service beginning in May of 1918 during the ending months of World War I. The K-4s were put on most express passenger trains, including the Broadway Limited between New York City and Chicago. The K-4s were able to hustle a 12-car train at track speed thanks to its 44,460 pounds of tractive effort at the coupler and 3,268 horsepower to boot, allowing it to hit speeds of 90 miles an hour. The K-4s were some of the most technologically advanced steam locomotives built by the Penzi. The K-4s used a PRR3 chime that sounded like this. Attempts were made to replace the K-4s, however most were not successful. The first attempt was the K-5 Pacific, built in 1929. The K-5 was essentially an upgraded K-4 with a 45-pound increase in boiler pressure and a 10,215 increased tractive effort. Some of the other attempts came in the days of streamlining, some being the T-1 and S-1 class of steam locomotives. The S-1-6100 was a one-of-a-kind 6446 locomotive built by the Altoona shops nicknamed the Big Engine. It was first shown off at the 1939 New York World's Fair where the engine was ran under steam power on rollers. They ran it at 60 miles per hour according to witnesses of the event. After the World's Fair, it was put on the lines between Chicago, Illinois and Crestline, Ohio. But there were some major problems with the S1, mainly wheel slip, along with it being a hassle on curves and Ys. This led to the Pensy quietly scrapping 6100 in 1949. This cemented the K4 as the main steam on the Pensy. When the Second World War came on, the K-4s being double-headed became a regular sight as the Pensy saw more freight to haul than ever due to the ramping up of the war effort due to the Pearl Harbor attack on December 7, 1941. They were pushed to their absolute limit, but kept on going despite not being strong enough to be able to handle on their own, which resulting in the aforementioned double-heading, or even triple-heading. It was effective, but expensive, as the Pensy had to spend extra on crews and locomotive maintenance, and because of this... They were able to push through the war and keep on going. In the late 1940s, the K-4 started to be replaced by dual-purpose M1 Mountain and D-1 class duplex locomotives. The K-4s hauled their last trains on the commuter service in New Jersey. And with the commuters dieselized, the era of the K-4 was over. Once the onslaught of diesels came to the Pensy, the K-4s began to be scrapped. However... All hope was not lost for the K-4 class Pacific. Thankfully, two K-4s were saved in preservation. Number 3750 was donated to the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in 1975, and her idolized sister, 1361, was donated to the city of Altoona and placed on display on Horseshoe Curve on June 8, 1957.
In 1985, the Altoona Railroad Museum had a bright idea to restore one of the last surviving icons of the PRR. The museum brought the locomotive from its resting place to its very place it was born, the June Yad Shops in Altoona, Pennsylvania. However, the restoration would not be easy as the locomotive was heavily battered by the weather and vandals. Supposedly, its whistle was used as target practice while on the Horseshoe Curve. Finally, the day came. On the evening of April 9th, 1987, 1361 was steamed up and a whistle rang out for all to hear. At last, one of the final K4s in existence was going to ride the rails again. At this time as well, the K4 was named the Stage Steam Locomotive of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. But on April 12, 1987, 1361, the test run from Altoona to Belfonte, making a few service stops on the way. She would later make her first official excursion in October of that year. In October 1987, 1361 ran her first official excursion between Vale, PA and Belfonte, PA. 1361 did three seasons of excursions traveling all over the Commonwealth to places like Tyrone, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and state capital of Harrisburg, all while traveling over Conrail trackage. However, in 1988, one of the locomotive's axles, which propelled the driver wheels, developed thermal stress, a discoloration due to heat. This halted any hopes of future excursions. A new axle was constructed and said to be put on after there were holes put in for the wheels but the axle fell off its delivery truck, causing it to be damaged. This put 1361 out of service. A restoration was attempted at Steamtown National Historic Site in Scranton, Pennsylvania, but the restoration failed. And it was returned to Altoona in 2007, where it lay unfinished. Many said it would never be finished, but that was not the case. In late 2019, Altoona's Railroaders Memorial Museum brought on FMW Solutions to perform a detailed inspection of the locomotive after the six-month series of engineering calculations, tests, and visual inspections, the museum plans to return the mighty K-4 to its early 1950s appearance in commuter service. It shall return as a look back in time to when steam locomotives were common and as an educational tool and to re-emerge as a symbol of the standard railroad of the world. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station.